Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics in WordPress Elementor without a plugin. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. So I'm going to open up Firefox and in Firefox, I'm going to type in Google Analytics. So it's going to go to the Google Analytics website. So you need to create a Google account first. So make sure you register with Google. Uh, if you click on Google Analytics and you're not signed in, it's going to ask you to register a new account so that you can install Google Analytics. And that will also give you Gmail. It will also help you to set up YouTube and lots of other services that Google provides. So I'm going to click Google Analytics. I'm already logged into my account and I haven't installed Google Analytics on this account before. So it's going to ask me some questions to uh, start, start measuring. You can get like lots of useful insight and data about your particular website. So we're going to click start measuring and it's going to ask me for the name. So I've got the, um, let's just move this to one side and I've got this demo website that we've been working on, right? So the name of the project, we can just call it dcpwebdeveloper.mix. So I'm going to get rid of all the HTTPS and just call it that name there. So right there, I'm just going to put that data in there. And you can tick off these various options if you want technical support, an account specialist, or do ben benchmarking. But I'm going to leave pretty much all of these options off, but you can enable and read through them which ones are applicable to you. I'm going to click Next. And then it's going to ask me for the property name. So I'm going to use the same developer.dcpmix. Then it's going to ask me the location. Guessing by my accent, I'm based in the, I guess you can guess, I'm based in London, UK. And it's going to ask me the currency. So if you're selling in GBP, Great British Pound, then it would make sense that you set pounds or you set the relevant currency for your location, especially if you're running something like e-commerce and you want to capture data about your sales, then you really want to set the right value here and the right location, the time and location here as well. We're running at GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And then it asked me a little bit about my industry. So this is like a little demo for like a, a web development company, right? So uh, let's see if we can find the category that's relevant. Uh, Let's see, uh, probably something like, um, I, mean, I could just select other for now. Let's see what's in here. So look, scan through these categories and find something that's relevant to your business. If you can't find something, normally like consultancy or something in here, but I don't really see that. So I'm just going to select other, uh, not travel, I don't want travel. We want to uh, other. Just leave it as other then it's small company then you can tick off these options how do you intend to use google analytics with your business click check all that apply and you know, might measure custom engagement on my website optimize my site or my user experience measure data across multiple devices optimize for adverts and so forth all these different options so you can tick whichever ones uh, are relevant to you and then click create so when you click create uh, you can select the region here so i'm going to select united kingdom uh, United Kingdom and then I'm going to tick this option and then accept and you just select the relevant country in here and then click I accept and uh, you can you know get various emails if you want them from Google I'm just going to click save I don't really want any emails I'm going to click this option here to close it and let's just stretch this out a little bit so it's a bit easier for you to see so it's asking us what platform are you trying to measure data on is it a website an android app or an ios app and it's actually a website isn't it this is a website so we're going to click website and then it's asking me for the url so we can copy this link up here or copy this part and just make sure you put https here right so https and then your domain name and then the stream name so you can just give that the same name uh, as the the, the, the uh, domain that's fine then we'll click create stream and you're going to get this information displayed here okay so what we're going to do is scroll down the page a little bit we're going to click on global site tag here and we're just going to copy this information copy it so we copy all of this information and now we can go to the main website so we're using elementor this tutorial is about installing google analytics onto wordpress for elementor so if we go to the dashboard and then we go to elementor and then we go to custom code we'll click custom code and then we're going to add a custom code here and inside the custom code we're going to type in here google analytics you can actually type whatever you want it's just a label just to reference what it is and we'll paste our code in here and then we'll display the um, analytics in the head so if we go back to this site here it says copy the global tag into the head the header right not the not the body not the footer uh, let's go back here so it's not the body it's not the end it's the header tag and then we'll click publish here publish so uh, where do you want to display your code let's see um so in here it's asking us 
this analytics code you want to display it on a singular page an archive page or the entire site we want to display it on the entire site and you can start add conditions and you can like say display only on certain pages you can do quite a lot of different functionality in here in terms of where you display analytics but it makes sense that you display it across your whole website you want to get traffic and gather data across your whole website so we're going to say entire whole website and click save and continue okay so we can see a message here custom code has been published and if you're using any sort of caching plugins if you're caching your website using any sort of caching plugins in the previous tutorial i showed you how to set up the site ground optimizer and we went through all of the settings we need to purge the cache and make sure you purge the cache because that will make sure that this particular script is loaded into the web browser that's quite important so make sure you purge your cache after you install something like google analytics on your website or it may not actually work correctly it's actually you know this is probably the, be the better way to do it so make sure you purge your cache uh, which is quite important now we can go ahead and um, go to the website and we can start browsing it so we can go to about us and we can go to home let's in fact move this to one side and if we uh, click on this x and then just click save here and then go to the home here and go to report just click on home here let's just save this uh, and then we should be able to see real-time data. So let's just expand this for a second. Let's go to reports. Uh, uncheck all and save. And then we want to go to real-time. Don't know why it keeps displaying that. But here you can see that we're capturing data now, right? So we can see the page views. We can see what people are looking at, looking at this page called web developer which is me so I'm, I'm using a separate web browser so if I browse to about us for example we should see it update here and show a different page title you have to be a bit patient it's not literally real time it takes a few seconds for it to gather the information and display it uh, in your analytics but now we're capturing data from this website into analytics so let's just browse a few pages let's go to services for example um, we should see an update here. Sometimes you can refresh it. Maybe that will help just to get the data in. But normally it should just display uh, in real time all of the data. So let's see. So same three, uh, three pages. I think maybe let's just see. Let's just give it a second. We literally just installed it. So it may take a little bit of time to start gathering all the information. Really, it should take, it says up to like, you know, here it is, services. Can you see services popped up here? So we're on the services page. If we go to pricing, let's just see if pricing will show up in here. Then we know it's pretty much working quite well, but it takes a little bit of time to um, for that information to, to show, let's say. Let's just give it a second. Let's just make sure we see pricing pop up in here. Um, and then you should see all of your data. So you can see if we expand this while we're waiting for it to show um, pricing in here you can see pricing now it's just popped up and it's showing you how many times each page has been viewed so the home page which is web developer got viewed three times pricing got viewed once and services got viewed once and then it gives you a little map and it shows you you know the location of um where your customers are so if you zoom right out if you've got like 200 people on your website it will show dots to show where all the different locations of all the different customers are and there's lots of other useful information you can go to report snapshot um, and in here you can see more detailed information so as your data gets gathered you can see like you know how often people are visiting your website what types of devices they're using tablets or mobile phones uh, you can see like your um, acquisitions here you can see your real-time data here and the customers where they're coming from you can create your own custom insights you can do lots of useful stuff inside Google Analytics but today's tutorial was not really an overview of analytics it was more about getting analytics up and running on your WordPress website using Elementor. So we've done that, we've achieved that goal. So let's go ahead and minimize this and minimize this web browser. That's how you install Google Analytics in WordPress for Elementor without a plugin. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.